Hello everyone and welcome back to the channel. In this video, let me show you how to fix Valorant when it keeps crashing during mid-game. Now here are a few things for you to go ahead and consider. Now the first thing that we need to consider is that your PC might be eating a lot of RAM or it is being used by a lot of different software running in the background. So you want to solely focus on the Valorant itself. So to do that, just, let's just go ahead and close a few programs. So what we're going to do is we're going to be accessing our task manager by clicking on the start right here. So we're going to right click on this until we can go ahead and see task manager. So go ahead and open that up. Now what we're going to be doing is we're going to be taking a look at our items right here. And, you know, we're going to be taking a look at what is using the most ram so the ram would be the one to do with the memory itself and then what we want to do is to just go ahead and close down anything that may be using this a lot more than your valorant is so say for example i have trello open right here so what i'm going to do is i'm going to be clicking on this and then i'm going to be clicking on end task right there so just go ahead and do that for all of the services or even the software that you are not using at the moment. So say for example, you know, Google Chrome or something like that. So just go ahead and close all of those and really maximize utilizing your RAM dedicated for when you are playing Valorant. Another thing that we can go ahead and do is to make sure to check that your Windows is fully updated. So the first thing that we need to do is to access our Windows settings right here and then just go ahead and click on update and security and then it'll be on the Windows update. So make sure that you are on the latest version and I'll just go ahead and click check for any updates if there are any and then if there are any just go ahead and update your Windows as is. And another thing that we can go ahead and check is to make sure that all of your drivers, especially for your graphics card, to be fully updated. What I usually do is you can, you can use any program that you want or you can, you know, manually go through all of the management itself and then just check for any updates. But what I usually do is I use this thing called GeForce Experience. So if I go on the GeForce experience right here and then just go on drivers and then you should be able to see if there are any new updates so just go ahead and make sure to go ahead and get the latest version as you can see here I have an update right here if you don't see it just go ahead and click check for any updates and then once that you have found one just go ahead go through either custom installation or express installation and this will go ahead and ensure that your graphics card is on the latest version and then finally what i usually do is i would just you know go into home right here and then select valorant and what i would do is it will go ahead and optimize its settings right here so it will go ahead and understand your current settings and then what will be the most optimal one so as you can see here it's almost the same the only difference is this multi-frame sampling so just go ahead and click on optimize this will go ahead and optimize your valorant so it is in the most updated version and it's most optimized version when using your graphics card and there you go i hope that this would fix the solution and i hope that you have found this tutorial useful see you guys next time